Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this parametric football stadium in the Rhino. So, let's get started. For the first step, let's use send I live to and click on center and press 0, enter. And our first descent will be 279 feet and enter and click on this side. And second descent will be 230 feet and click on Y is it. Okay, now select this curve. And type make sir friendly and enter. Okay, now let's issue this curve and click on this blue circle and type 26.5 feet and enter. Okay, uh, one more time click on this and uh, type the same distance and enter. Okay, now let's uh, select this middle edge, press Ctrl Shift and double click on it and let's scale it in three direction. Press Shift key to scale it and click right here. Okay, now let's use uh, scale 1D tool and let's type 0 and click here and click right here and scale in one dimension just a little. Okay, now let's uh, select this top edge, press Ctrl Shift and double click on it and let's scale it. Press Alt and Shift and Ctrl. You have to press the three key at the same time and scale about right. Uh, here, okay, look good. Now let's go to frame view and press Ctrl Shift and let's select this middle edge. Okay, now let's use scale 1D2. Click here and click on center, and one more time click on say center, and let's move it in the other direction and press uh, 92.4 feet in there. Okay, now let's go to perspective. Uh, we need more uh, phases, so let's select this face and type subdivide and enter. Okay, now we need to select some phases. Uh, let's click on this face and press Ctrl Shift and double click on this and select this face and one more time. Okay, now let's go to uh, right view and one more time, let's use say 1D2 and let's click on uh, center and click on this center and let's move it downward direction, press 39.5 feet, okay. Let's go to perspective, okay, look great. Now let's uh, select these horizontal edges. Press Ctrl Shift and double click on these edges to select this. Okay, now let's duplicate these edges and choose duplicate edge. Okay, now we need to uh, hide this face. Uh, let's try it. Okay, one more time. Uh, select this face and hide. Okay, now we are going to use love surface and select these edges. Okay, now let's use a uh, love surface tool and choose uh, this one. Okay, uh, look like our all the arrow is in the same direction. Uh, this is the way we went. Okay, now let's uh, right click and uh, press OK. And OK. Now let's use split tool to divide these phases. Use split, select this surface. And now let's uh, choose string, yes. And let's select this curve, click and right click. Okay, our face is divided into two pieces. Let's confirm this and select this. As you can see, our face is divided into two pieces. Now let's uh, delete unnecessary curve. Uh, type select curves. Uh, choose select off and delete this. Now let's apply some pattern on this surface. I'm going to use Grasshopper bar to apply some pattern on this. If you are using Rhino 7, Grasshopper bar will be already installed on your Rhino. Let's click Grasshopper bar. Okay, uh, now let's uh, drag a uh, surface component on the canvas. Uh, click here and drag and drop here because we are going to apply some pattern on the face. That's why we uh, first choose the surface component. 
Okay, now let's uh, right click on this survey component and let's set one surface and click on this lower surface. Okay, it tend to green or uh, red. Now we need a domain for that gap surface. Now let's go to math and drop down, click here and use UNV deconstruct domain, click here and let's place it right here. Okay, let's move uh, to the free space. Okay, now let's uh, connect this surface uh, to the domain. Click here and click here. Okay, now we need a rectangular for applying uh, pattern. And type uh, rectangle. And choose rectangle. And let's move it to the right. And now let's connect U1 to its direction. And uh, connect V1 to Y direction. Okay, now let's see it in the drawing area. Okay, our rectangle has been created. Now let's move this uh, model to the uh, somewhere else. Okay, right click here. Now let's let this original surface and let's hide it. Okay, now let's go to vector and choose probability 2D and let's place it on the right side of the rectangle. Okay, now we need to connect a rectangle to the region. Okay, now uh, click here and here. Okay, now let's uh, uh, double click on free space and type uh, 150 uh, you have to type more than 100 okay now let's connect this uh, point to the number okay uh, now uh, we need uh, a pattern so now let's go to uh, mesh depth and choose Uranoi and place on uh, right here okay now let's uh, connect probably to the points I click here and here okay we don't want our pattern outside the rectangle so we need to fix that and connect this rectangle to the boundary of one right okay uh, that's fixed look great okay we need to scale this whole pattern now go to transform and use scale component and place on the right side click here and connect this uh, one right to the geometry of scale Okay, uh, look like we need to fix that. Uh, okay, we need to uh, fill the whole area. Now let's type uh, or go to uh, right here and choose area and click here. And let's uh, connect Voronoi to the geometry here. And let's uh, connect this uh, centroid to the center. Click here. Okay, uh, look like uh, it is fixed. Okay, it is quite complicated. We don't need to see some other components. Select this three component and click middle mouse, I uh, mean wheel, and click display preview. Sorry, display preview. Okay, now we can see it's only scale component. Now double click on here and type uh, 0.75. Uh, you can type any more you want but you have to type uh, between 0 and 1 okay connect this feather to the feather okay uh, look like uh, this good amount now we need to transform this curve i mean change this curve so we need to rebuild this curve uh, now uh, let's go to uh, curve def and click here and choose rebuild curve okay place it here Okay, now let's uh, this select this geometry to the curve here. Okay, as you can see, our curve is uh, starting to rebuild. Okay, we don't need to see the scale and press mirror mouse and uh, display review. Okay, now we need to use a slider component. Uh, type uh, four or three. Uh, don't type too much. Okay, for now let's connect this uh, to the degree here. Okay, uh, we need one more slider. Uh, click here and type uh, 3 or 4 and enter. And now connect this to the number. Okay, as you can see, our curve has been transformed. Pretty cool, right? Okay, it looks great. Okay, now let's go to surface depth and choose boundary surface. Uh, because we are going to create boundary between this pattern, uh, that's why we are using a uh, boundary component. And now let's uh, click this curve to the edge. Okay, now as you can see, our boundary has been created. But I don't want boundary between this curve. 
I went boundary outside the uh, pattern. Okay, now let's double click on the empty uh, area and uh, type relay or ELE1 relay. Okay, now choose relay. Okay, and place anywhere you want. Uh, we have to connect this rectangle to the relay. And now let's move to the right side and uh, press shift key and uh, connect this relay to the edge uh, here. Okay, our boundary has been filled. Okay, we went only also the button. That's why uh, right click and choose flatten. Okay, uh, our boundary has been created outside the button, but some of them are uh, not quite correct. Okay, we will fix it later. Okay, now let's fix this. Uh, you need to play the count uh, number setting until you fix this button. Okay, I think 5 is uh, correct. Okay, now let's put it 5. Now let's issue the whole pattern surface. Uh, let's use S2 component. Okay, now right here, go to freeform, choose S2, uh, click here. Okay, uh, now we need to S2 it in the Z direction. Uh, double click on free space and type Z. Okay, now choose unit Z and connect this uh, vector to the uh, direction. Okay, and let's connect this surface to the boundary. Okay, our institution thing that is too much. Okay, we need to fix this. Okay, for that we need to use a slider. Uh, double click on here. And type uh, 0, 5, 4, or 5. Uh, type any more you want, but uh, your number must be between uh, 1 to 0. And connect this to feather. Okay, our institution height has been fixed. Okay, look great. Okay, we need to see only this institution component. We don't need to see other. So let's select all these seven components and uh, click on middle wheel and click on here, disable preview. Okay, now we need to apply this pattern in the UV to blue direction. So we are going to use surface morph component. And let's go to transform and uh, click on this uh, morph drop down arrow and choose uh, surface morph. Okay, and click on the right side. Okay, now let's click on this is to do the geometry. Now we need a boundary for the pattern. Now let's go to uh, surface step and click on this boundary box. Click right here. Okay, now we need to connect this is to shame uh, to the content. Click here and here. Okay, that's not good. And now let's uh, click this box to the region. Okay, our bounding ball is not perfectly to the content. Uh, we need to fix this later. Okay, anyway. Okay, now let's uh, copy this original surface. Okay, uh, we are going to uh, copy this surface uh, by using relay. Uh, double click on empty space and uh, tab relay. And choose relay. And let's connect this surface to the relay. Okay, click here and here. Now let's move this uh, relay to the right. And we need to connect this relay uh, to the uh, surface morph of surface. And uh, click this relay and connect this surface. Okay, now we need to apply this pattern uh, to the curve surface. Uh, for that, we need uh, to use another domain. Uh, click on math and click here. And use the construct domain uh, rectangular to the curve. And click here. Now let's connect this uh, copy surface to the domain. Okay, click here and here. And now we need to connect U and U component and V and V. Okay, okay, one last step. Now let's uh, connect this uh, factor. Uh, click here and uh, do that the blue component. Okay, now let's wait for the result. Well, as we expected, we got some error. Uh, we need to uh, fix some component. Now let's uh, undo the connections of factor and W. And let's uh, middle mouse on this bounding box and preview. Look like our bounding box is a little bigger. Uh, we need to fix it. Let's change this degree number uh, from 4 to 2. Okay, our boundary has been fixed. Now let's uh, connect factor to the W component. And uh, click uh, here and let's connect this W. 
Okay, let's wait for the result. Okay, we got our button on the curved surface. Uh, this is quite beautiful. Okay, now we don't need to see all this component and slide all this and middle mouse on this. And let's disable preview. And now let's go to the Safi Morph and uh, right click on it and choose Bake and click OK. Okay, we got our final uh, pattern on the surface. Uh, let's save this uh, grass bar. Uh, save anywhere you want. Okay, and close this. Now slide this cap and go to property and let's remove this checkbox. Now let's apply some thickness on the uh, rooftop and let's click here and choose offset tool and click on the surface. And our offset distance will be uh, 0.5 uh, like the institution. Okay, and right click or enter. And one more time, enter. Okay, uh, we got our thickness on the roof. Now let's unhide the original surface. Click here and unhide it. And select this surface. And let's offset the surface and go to here and choose offset. And our offset distance will be 0 0.6 and enter and right click again. Okay, now let's hide this original surface again. Okay, now select this surface and go to property. Uh, now let's uh, rename this layer and rename as Mera. Okay, now let's apply this surface to this layer and we need to change this color too. And right click on this mirror and change object layer. Okay, and now let's change the material too. You can apply mirror or plastic. If you apply plastic, you have to change the transparency. Let's choose plastic and uh, change the transparency to 21. And let's change the color too. Let's use a uh, dark blue one. And okay. And let's okay again. Now let's uh, close this and let's see our model in the render view. And click here and, oh sorry, and click here and choose render. Okay, our model look good. Okay, that's all guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel.